Hi there, I'm Bra, newest member of Chasing Bones Inspectors. How you doing today, Bra? I'm doing quite well, thanks. Okay, so, um, first question, what was your favorite moment last year? I would say my favorite moment last year is when we went to the cemetery out in Hearthstone and a spirit said my name. It's something I've never experienced before. That was very, very cool. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it was clear as a bell and like, oh, wow, okay. And I will admit, I kind of lost it there for a little bit. <laughs> what was your least favorite moment? Um, the least favorite moment was, again, at the cemetery when we had that dark entity at the top of the hill there that was just didn't want us around. Mm -hmm. you know, and, um, well, Surf is my, is my son, so my in, in protective instincts kicked in and, and everything else, and I forgot about being an investigator and started being a father. So, you know, <laughs> like when he was starting to get creeped out, I'm thinking, okay, come on. Yeah, that's true. And and it's hard. That's uh, that's one thing that's, even for me too. Oh, yeah. You know, to, to separate that. Is there anything you don't want to find this year? I don't want to find remains. Um... To me, that I don't think I'd be able to handle that. Like, I'm a farm boy, and you know, and dead, dead animals and things like that really don't bother me. But I don't want to be, you know, like feel the energy and then find the remains afterwards. Oh yeah, that would be creepy. Well, yeah, because all of a sudden it's like I'm I'm communicating, and all of a sudden, ooh, that just got real quick. <laughs> um. Any new techniques that you want to try this year? Um, I want to do some more um, in depth in with different crystals and minerals and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I've been also like learning how to read tarot cards and I've always been doing palmistry and things like that. You know, you know, getting more in, into learning protection and things like that. Okay. Um, is there some place that you'd like to go this year? Oh wow, um, Centennial for sure. I've never, I've uh, been there with friends and things like that, but never with an investigative team. I would love to go there with with you guys. And well, we're going next weekend, so I, I or tomorrow. To, maybe. I, I will try to beat you. Well, tomorrow, I'm, I'm down. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so one of your wishes is coming true. Right? Wait. <laughs> cool. Um, I, I I know you don't know too many other groups uh, that we talk to yet on, uh, but is there any group that stands out that you'd like to investigate that you could think of offhand? Um, the last live chat. Mm -hmm. Um, the guy that you brought on with the live chat, I caught little little bits until I had you know until I had to bow out. But he seems like he's got some interesting, you know, things going on there. Oh, are you talking about Mike from Otherworldly? That's it, Mike. Otherworldly. Yeah, yeah, Mike is very cool, and we are definitely going to be hooking up with him. Oh, right on. Uh, hopefully this summer. So, and also what the paranormal. Yeah. Um. Do you prefer to investigate in teams or singly? Well, I, I've kind of been doing some on my own, um, just to, to see, you know, what's going on and then, then bring in the team. Um, I'm, I'm, I like both, actually, because I'm still fairly new to this, and I like having backup with me on some things. Mm -hmm. Like, when I do it by myself, it's just, you know, a quick little thing that, you know, to find out what's going on, and, you know, I'm not too big of an idiot not to say, hey, I need help here. Right. So, <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like you know doing it on my own, uh, especially uh, now that we're talking with people and going to their homes, doing the meeting, the initial meet and greet, and things like that. I'm really enjoying that part. Okay. Um, that leads right into the next question. What is your role on the team? Um, so far it's been investigator. I've uh, like the the, the great site in Hearthstone was my suggestion. And um, Bobby Joes again, you know, she reached out to me, and now uh, the the person I talked to today. So, I would say, you know, um, 
find you know finder of places to be. I guess I don't know what you'd call that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> PR dude. PR dude, maybe or uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, um, sacrificial lamb. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, we'll go but, with that. Uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go with sacrificial lamb. All right, we're uh, on, on the lamb. Yeah, because that works. Um, yeah, but there's there there was a word that I that I had in my head. I just can't remember. That's okay. But yeah, you're basically the one that digs up information, finds out resources, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, I've been doing like when people you know I talk to, you know, tell me about some things. I I I go into the the background of the area and, and you know researchers, Re yeah, researchers, research. there we researchers. Go. Research. There, go. there we go. Okay. Uh, any pers uh special protection you like to bring with you on a hunt um well i uh i wear a pentacle and indrasil uh when i you know when when i go on a hunt and uh, wherever i go um plus i have my own beliefs and things like that and my inner strength um and, and plus i carry silver in my pocket so there you go. Yeah, I personally just say, bring it, baby. You know, <laughs> I got my attitude. I don't need that. Yeah. Thing. You know. Um, how frequently do you like to investigate? As much as possible. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> um, this summer, I'm going to be spending a lot of time on my mother's place, cleaning up around there. But there is a lot of stories and things like that out in O'Connor Township there. Things, you know, I will be investigating on my own from time to time. And if I get some good hits, I'll be calling in the team. Amen to that. You know, I'm always up for investigating. Oh, I know, I know. And uh, how do you feel about last year's evidence? I was very impressed. Um, even though I am new and I did, was with you guys, checking out the videos, everything you guys have gone through, like, Wow. And this is like more than I was expecting and better than I hoped. Amen to that. Yeah. And I guess I'm going to add one more question for you. What got you into the paranormal in the first place? Uh, that would have been Robert Beebe. Okay. Um, when I used to live in Slate River many, many years ago, um, about half a mile from where I lived was... The Slate River Bridge and the river. And I went down there one time to go fishing, and there was another little boy, a little older than me. And we played hide and seek and, and everything else and whatnot. And one day, you know, I went down there and he wasn't there. And he told me that he lived up up the top of the hill. I went, okay, that's Bibi's place. I know there's son Tommy, but I don't know Bobby. So I went up there and asked about Bobby, and it turned out that Bobby had drowned in the river many, many years before. And he was a child. Mm. So with that, like it was okay. <laughs> I'm I'm about eight years old, and it's uh, what does this mean? I don't know. I'm thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, and then in the school library, I found this book about ghosts and the paranormal, and been hooked ever since. Well, there you go. Well, uh, on a personal note, I just want to say you are a great asset to the team, and we're so happy that you're part of our team, bro. Well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm enjoying it immensely. Yeah, we love you to death, oh. and uh, yeah. lots of hunting this year, so oh, let, let's sure. get at her. Oh, uh, yeah, as long as you, you know, like, I'm the sacrificial lamb, and I go in first. I understand. That's right. You know. <laughs> well, your, your sacrificial lamb, surf is bait. Yeah, surf <laughs> is bait. You know, yeah, uh, I, see, I see where my family is, you know, fits yeah. in here. Don't feel bad, so is Kelly. <laughs> no, I'm okay with that. And um, well, just to say, I would like to, uh, other than paranormal, I would also like us to get into, like, if we could, uh, like some of the uh, Bigfoot myths that have been going on in the area and things like that, and some of the other, like, creatures and monsters and things like that. That's another interest of mine. Mm hmm. So if maybe we could do a sideline here and there, but we'll see. Um, actually, maybe we will. Yeah. Actually, maybe we will. Yeah, it would be just a nice change up once in a while. Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I have an idea for you. All right, brother. All right. Talk to you in a bit. You got it.